In this episode of Tuesday Tastings, we are eating in Maui. We're showing you the best places to eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And don't forget to follow us on Food to Table and subscribe. Let's get started. All right, here we have Nalu South Shore Grill, located in Kihei, Hawaii. This is the front of the restaurant. This is us walking into the restaurant where they have menus on the front portion of the restaurant. They serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner here, but we decided to get brunch. This is their lunch menu. It has a variety of options, if you can slow down, and breakfast options here. And this, what we have is the breakfast special, which we decided to get, which is Cajun Lobster Benedict. And look at that, it looks beautiful, gorgeous. We have the runny yolks, we have garlic furikake potatoes, and lobster eggs benedict. So look at that runny yolk, oh yeah. So, okay, that's a kind breakfast right there. And it's a hearty meal. We also ordered these island pancakes. Comes with citrus rum syrup and Maui Gold pineapple, bananas, toasted macadamia nuts. Mmm, look at that. Oh, it looks delicious. And it was. And of course, we had to try this Hawaiian chili pepper water, homemade at this restaurant. The waiter actually said, you take a shot of this, it'll keep the doctors away. Oh, jeez. Oh, so spicy with that Hawaiian chili pepper. Oh, oh. All right, what we have here is the Gazebo Restaurant located in Lahaina, Hawaii. It's a small brunch restaurant overlooking the ocean. It can get crowded due to limited seating. We had to decide to wait two hours if we wanted to go there. But we decided to be smart and order from the side of the restaurant. What we can see here is the ocean which it over the restaurant overlooks. You can see the beautiful view. And we opted to try uh, the combo pancakes. You can see here with the homemade whipped cream. And there is the breakfast burrito and potatoes. And we decided to order a full order of the fried rice. So the combo of macadamia nut, pineapple, and banana pancakes. There were huge chunks of fruit and nuts inside the pancakes and the homemade whipped cream and coconut sauce literally was to die for. This breakfast burrito was also so huge, worth it for a hungry person for sure. Eggs, ham, green onion, green peppers, avocado, tomatoes, pepper jack cheese, yum. There is no full-on video zoom for the fried rice, but here's a picture that we took. This was a huge full order, and honestly, we probably recommend getting a half order and just use the other half to order something else to try. We have here is Oyakate, which is in Kahui, Lui, Hawaii. And it is a small mom and pop brunch restaurant near the airport. It's a kind of a small restaurant, and they only do takeout. This place sells a variety of breakfast lunch food. We decided to get this one, is the Loco Moco. This is perfect for two people since it's huge. It has the best Loco Moco ever. This is awesome gravy, which goes on top of the hamburger patty, Portuguese sausage, spam, bacon, and two eggs, all on top of a bed of rice. Look at this. And it's a definite must try. Next up, we have Tin Roof Maui, also located in Kahalui, Hawaii, near the airport. This place is takeout only as well. Make sure you order online and save yourself some time. You can easily go to the front desk right over here, pick it up for pickup. There are so many things you can get at this restaurant, but a must try is this mochiko chicken. Marinated chicken in ginger sake shoyu covered with sweet mochiko batter and fried twice. This next one is the pork belly, of course, deep fried with a tomato onion lomi, some vinaigrette and an egg. It's not bad. And last but not least, this is the chopped steak, fried with garlic and scallion, 
bottoms topped off with some ginger scallion pesto. And we replaced the rice with some garlic newts. Next we have the food trucks at Kahalui, Hawaii. There are a variety of options available. And then there is seating in the center area. There's actually bathrooms that are functional as well. Uh, usually porta potties, but then there are steps to clean and wash your hands. There's a variety of options. Here we have some of the food that we're trying, but stay tuned later for our next episode where we'll go over some of the food trucks that you must try. Next stop for lunch, you can also drop by Huli Huli Chicken. If you are driving on the road to Hana, you can get some lunch here in Hana. And the chicken smells fabulous. It is beautifully smoked and barbecued. And this was a pretty penny for what you're getting, but it does taste pretty good. This is Paia Fish Market, located in Paia, Kihei, and Lahaina, Hawaii. We went to the one within Kihei. They usually serve lunch and dinner options and alcohol beverages right there as you can see. They do dine in. This is the wall of fish variety they have, but you could also get other things. Usually people would get dine in here. You could also order online and pick up if you're okay eating it elsewhere. This place does have a variety of food options and they have a patio where you can eat, which is right here for dine in only. This is the Mahi Mahi Black and Styled with french fries. Mahi Mahi fish is more of a flaky, wild, mild tasting fish, but it was delicious, highly recommend. I love the flavor of the blackened seasoning. This is the red snapper Cajun style, has some rice with a home potato combo. More of a delicate fish, mild taste, but a little bit more moist. This is Mama's Fish House, located in Paia, Hawaii. Oceanfront restaurant that serves lunch, dinner, and specializes in seafood. Expect to spend about $100 per person, but it's well worth the experience and the food. It's best to make reservations for this restaurant, ideally three to four months ahead of time. If you're lucky, you could call ahead of time to see if there is a cancellation or maybe sit in the bar area. There's a lot of room at the restaurant, but the parking lot, not so much. But it is also very popular. Here's the menu for the day, and some of the menu may overlap from day to day. This is us in front of the restaurant. Let's go in. First, we start off with complimentary bread, as well as a small soup of the day. Can't have dinner without an alcoholic beverage, so here is an espresso martini made right in front of you. Highly, highly recommend. It was a pretty strong. Other alcoholic beverages we ordered were the Hua Kipa, sunset as well as the strawberry guava fizz but overall i'd probably recommend the strawberry guava fizz it's this one with the little umbrella appetizer we ordered this octopus special of the day also macadamia nut crab cakes oh my god this is so good Stellar Bay Oysters with this mango lily koi mignonette right in the middle. It was so fresh. Can't go wrong with it. This is a seared venison with Maui watermelon. For our entree, we got this bula base, which is a mixture of different seafood simmered in a saffron fish broth with Tristan Island lobster tail. This is the uku sauteed with garlic, white wine, capers, and mushrooms. So delicious. 
Kona Kanpachi, stuffed with lobster and crab baked in a macadamia nut crust. This is a winner. And of course, you can't go without getting some dessert. And we stuck with the Lily Koi creme brulee. You will not regret getting this. This is a must. Right, this is the end of the journey. Please join us on our next adventure as we let you know about other food, great food in Maui. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to join us on our food adventures. Thanks for watching. <laughs>